Well, howdy, y'all. Welcome back. Today, we're going to finish up this little LP here, and I've got two fine folks with me to help me do that. Now, how are you two gentlemen? Because me, I'm fired than Frogs here, split four ways. I'm going to be spending the next five minutes trying to understand what you just said. Hey, I'm pretty good. How are you? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Dish, you're not allowed to talk like that. You're not from Texas. <laughs> so you think. How do you How do you know where I am? I can tell from Skype. Oh. And I also stalk you. Oh. All right, so <laughs> let's get going. This episode is going to be part of the final session. Uh, we're almost done. We just needed to go through the couple's mask quest and beat the game. But I also started off... I did a little bit beforehand because I want to cut down the time of things we do. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to skip some of the boring stuff. So, But right now we need to go ahead and get the Gibdo mask that we never got because I, I sort of screwed up the order of things. Mm -hmm. However, I do people, also want to... People have been complaining in thread, you never equipped the Fierce Deity mask, so... Yeah. What if I remember, I'll try to play... in a random room? <laughs> I have no idea. But apparently you made it work, so... Uh, yeah, well, I'll try to play around with that later. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to do a glitch here, and I keep screwing it up. Oh, man. Off to a rolling start, I see. I know. I think I even failed it. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, look, see? You see how Zora Link <laughs> stopped moving around when I'm... So I can't um, move here. I can only move by punching. Uh, this is a weird state where I took off the Zora mask as I enter the cutscene, and that causes us some weird stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, if I pull out the ocarina, <laughs> it sounds like an ocarina. Or it should be the guitar. Um, so yeah, I'm in a weird state where it sort of thinks I'm supposed to be Human Link, but I'm still Zora Link because it, it couldn't trigger the cutscene of changing. Mm -hmm. And if you if you activate this cutscene by playing Song of Healing while you do this, it uh, ends up doing some, some uh, really weird stuff. So like right now, the guy's not in the screen, the, the mummy. And she goes up and hugs <laughs> nothing, and the Gibdo mask is floating in the air. It's like those cartoons where there's a piano just hanging over them. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I don't know why this happens. I, I guess it's just this weird disparity between not being human when you're supposed to be. But yeah, his model's invisible, the Gibdo mask is just floating. Uh, when it says I get the Gibdo mask, it doesn't put the model over, over his head. And even though this is the randomizer, it should be doing that. And I actually did not get an item out of that. Oh, so, so that was all for completely useless nothing. Uh, no, yeah, that was just to show it off because I think it's, it looks pretty funny. All right, time to start the episode over for real. <laughs> I'm suspicious. No, what I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just set it up again, but I'm probably gonna just skip to it. See, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's a beautiful cutscene. Oh yeah, great angle there. <laughs> With his daughter motorboating his belly button. <laughs> oh no. That's what soothes her. Why does he have so many, like, wrenches across his floor? He needs to clean up. That's a carpet. A carpet. Not a carpet. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's not That's not a tile floor? I don't know. That doesn't look much like a carpet to me. I'm gonna go with its actual, actual literal flat wrenches. Is that bomb jump you did to get through the wall pretty consistent? What's that? That bomb jump you did to get into the wall so you could uh, access the loading zone. Is, is that pretty consistent? Oh, um... It's consistent enough, but like sometimes uh, it's not like perfectly you'll get it every single time, or at least I don't because I screwed up sometimes. So It's more setup y than not, though, I'm quite sure, right? Because you have the. You can yeah, get yeah. Well, angle pretty consistently with that, so. Yeah. I mean, that's the setup, it's just you point your camera at a certain spot. Yeah. You stand in a certain spot and you point the camera there. Okay, so now we need to talk to you, and you. Oh, we're finally doing this, aren't we? Yep. We're on a bit of a time limit, so. All right, everybody, get your uh, notebooks out. Remember how to do the uh, cafe quest? Because I don't. I haven't done it in years. So first, the first part of it is that I need to talk to her, and now we have to wait until midnight. I have some stuff to do. Um, the thing is, I totally forgot to mention that I did start out uh, some progress before this, uh, before we started. I um, I did a little bit of gameplay, mm -hmm. and the one thing I did is that I went back into Stone Tower and got the Razor Sword from the Giant's Mask chest, but I opened it as Deku Link, and that is going to be important 
Uh, well, it's, it won't actually be important, but I, it, it's another thing I wanted to show off that I couldn't fit in anywhere, because I need to have a sword on Deku Link to show it off. And right now I do have that. Right. Um, I can actually I can shut off right here. Get this fairy for Chateau Romani. No, what? What? Why is that a why is that a fairy? What? Um. That's confusing. I don't know what happened. Wait, how did you get the ice arrows? That was the Gibdo mask. Oh, okay, that's right. All right, so we're Deku Link has a sword, right? Mm-hmm. If I if I jump into the water. Now I have ISG as Deku Link. Nice. Well. Is so, there... uh, infinite, sword, infinite Sword Glitch is activated by interrupting the crouch stab, but as Deku Link can't, can't crouch stab, but if you jump into the water, a jump attack into the water, that also interrupts it, and it, he's just infinitely slashing it. It's a pretty cute little thing. Is it in any way useful, or...? Uh, no, except that uh, Deku Sword is... The sword that Deku Link has, no matter what it, it actually is, like, it's supposed to be the Razor Sword right now, Actually, I think it might be called Kiri Sword since I reset time. I don't really know. But it always does great fairy sword damage. Ah, that's not bad. Damn. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure why. Again, because like I said, it could be Kokiri Sword, uh, Razor Sword, Gilded Sword, or the great fairy sword itself. If you use them all as Deku Link, they're all the same damage. And that's the, the max damage. It's pretty convenient. Yeah. I wonder if they intended for Deku Link to ever have a sword or something like that. Because it didn't... It looked like it was actually like the sport. The sword was going from the correct position and everything. So, yeah, I don't know. Like his animations, like do still work with it. So it's kind of weird. And he makes little sword sounds, sword slashy sounds. But the fact that you can just open the chest as a Deku Link and it just works is kind of. Does that? Have, can you do that with any other transformation or? Um, well, if you replace the sword or replace the the B button with the other two, they still act the same because. That item that is on B for them is still technically a sword. It just acts as a fin or a punching uh, when you right. when you use it. Okay. So we're here to finally drop off the Deku Princess and get the the scent mask or whatever that is. We can do that while time is going, while we have to wait for Anju to get to her meeting spot. Is time paused during cutscenes? I don't remember. It is. So um, we're probably gonna have to wait a while, or at least a little bit. Like, but uh, with the magic of editing, we can skip past all that. Mm -hmm. It'd be great if while she's bouncing on her father, the moon fell. Oh no. You're too busy chastising your father. You didn't get to, to value him. Well, she, she valued her monkey friend, I guess. That's what this is all about. Value your monkey over your family. Yes. Well, her, her dad is kind of a jerk. And not a monkey. But we're done here. Kind of? Well, he imprisons the monkey. Yeah, no, kind of doesn't even cut it. It's He's full on a jerk. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's pretty bad. He's a horrible father. I mean, yeah, the moon is falling. And he's too, he, he's, the moon is falling. He's too busy just, like, jailing random monkeys. Come on, yeah. now. We need to work our way over here. Moat's, Moat's still poisoned, though, so I can't... Uh, do the much faster method of just rolling over there as a Goron. Mm -hmm. Killing this guy is going to be kind of annoying. Okay, we're good. I might actually die. Uh. Oh boy. I mean, it's not that big a deal or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? Oh, what is this? Uh, this? This poison water acts differently. It's kind of weird. I don't understand it totally. That is super weird, actually. Here. I'll be for stating here. Okay, cool. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Cause, uh, I'm talking to him. I crashed the game or something. I don't know. Oh boy. See, that's the issue. I don't, I don't want to turn to fierce dating because there's nothing enough to fight with him really. And talking to some people as him could probably crash the game. I didn't know. So that I want to like. Yeah, I'm not, I I could be wrong about that. I, I just I don't remember all the all the, the mechanisms trips, t uh, that tips exist. And tricks. Yeah. What does this even net us again? What's that? Did this mess us, the, mess us the Mask of Sense or whatever, or no? Yeah. Yeah. Or the All Knights Mask, in this case. Okay. Okay, so the randomizer is in fact working. Yeah. What is going on? Alright. I don't know. Uh, but we still <laughs> got a few hours to- we still got a few hours to waste. Um, in-game time. Yep. Well, you can play around with Fierce Data Link. There's not much else we can do. Whereas, like, I assume the final mask will be one of the 
trading item sequences. Yeah. Maybe and we'll see. And that's basically oh. it in terms of items we can get, right? Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, though, I will say that there there are some... Uh, what am I doing? There are some instances where uh, we could end up in a situation where I can't get every single item. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried to, I tried my best to like think about how to work around that, but I couldn't, there's some, there's like maybe one or two situations where, um, one of the items will be locked out because of the way the trading sequence work. And it's all because of that letter to Caffey being a one time only thing for me to get. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll avoid that. But if not, well, then there's nothing we can do about it. I'm going to try another fairy. Okay, this one's milk. I have no idea. That's so weird. <laughs> just that one fairy is coded differently than everything that, else in the game. It's just that one fairy. I don't know. Are you, are you okay? Are you going to drink your milk or? Uh, I want one to drink and then one to sell. I'm going to okay. need some money. Okay. I have a question. Uh, What's up? So you, you're, like, you're planning to finish the Anju and Cafe quest in this... Uh, today, right? Yeah. So does that mean you've mapped out everything like that like that the randomizer turns into the quest items? Yeah, I should have it all good. Um, there's, again, like I was saying, there's a couple instances where I have all the stuff for the couple's mask, but because of the way it's arranged, some stuff behind the couple's mask can be locked out. So that would mm. be unfortunate, but I can finish the quest. Okay. So we should be good. And if all else fails, you can just jump through the crack in second on side out. Uh, yeah, well, I still need to do all the... Because in order for the actual couples mask cutscene to happen, I need to activate all those the, the triggers prior, or else it does you don't get it. You can you can do sack on side out, but that won't get that alone won't get you the couples mask. Right. So it's a bit it's a bit frustrating. Uh, but while we wait, we still need about an hour, and I have one little secret to show. Show everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, this I, is, think, uh... I think most people won't know about. Uh, you see this uh, little bird here? He doesn't attack you. That's because he's our little buddy. And he's our, he's our buddy in a lot of different ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to serenade this little bird <laughs> using the Sonata of Awakening. I'll play him a little music. I think he'll enjoy it. I did it wrong then. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, it doesn't work as a groin or something. I don't know. This is a really weird thing. And again, it's something that has no consequence. But it exists. So there's a little cutscene that plays after I play him a little song. And now he's just flying around and he drops rupees for me. And I could just roll after him and collect all these little rupees. And this is something I don't think anyone knows about. Because as far as I know, there's like it's not like documented anywhere. I don't think it's in any Primo Power Guides or GameFAQs uh, FAQs. I don't know. Yeah, so Mr. It's weird. Mr. Kill Senior showed this to me one night, and the only place you can find it is it's in one of the obscure um, Gossip Stones. If you get the Gossip Stone mask, it tells you this. Is it? I thought we just theorized that. I don't no, know. No, I, I went ahead and like, went to GameFAQs and found the official text dump, and we found that one of the Gossip Stones actually says it. Well, do you know which Gossip Stone? No, I just have a text no. up, but it doesn't tell me where it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really strange. I don't know. Uh, I, there is actually a glitch associated with it that I wouldn't be able to probably pull off. But if you... I did show off that once it drops that final 20 rupees, mm -hmm. it, um, it flies away and sort of just, like, fades out. If you kill it on the frame, it gets deloaded. The game actually, like, really screws up. <laughs> and you can, like, use any C item anywhere. It's really strange. Yeah, so the text dump says, It seems the crows that fi fly near the town walls are fond of musical instruments. That's the mm. only hint in the entire game that this exists. Also, it messes really? up because it says crows instead of gways. Come on, Nintendo uh, localization <laughs> team. Even they don't care. <laughs> Largest quiver, okay. So now we can hold all the arrows. That That's all right. So then could it be any of the other songs? Like, not spe not specific, like, a Song of Time, but some of the other songs you would use to get into the dungeons? I think it has to be 
the dungeon songs specifically. Oh, okay. I thought you could use Song of Healing for it too, but maybe not. Maybe I don't. I don't really know. I've only ever seen like that one, and maybe the Goron one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the first part of the Caffey quest. If you don't do that, and you won't accept the pendant of memories, no matter what. So that's that part is necessary. Oops. Uh, so I I did need to do that no matter what, and it's normally right. supposed to get the give you the letter to Caffey. But we all know that that's stored behind the bank, so I need to go ahead and do that. Yep. And the unfortunate thing about this is that it's it is one time only. I thought it was that's something that was supposed to be fixed, but I guess it wasn't. I guess not for that specific thing. But once I get it, I can't do the quest anymore. I can't get the letter to Kathy, so I do have to finish it this go. And that's where the the issues will come in if any part of this. After this, I get the letter. If I get the letter to Mama in the wrong spot, then I won't be able to do the postman's hat quest. Mm -hmm. The postman hat thing. So, uh, the postman hat is the thing that's, if anything, we're gonna not be able to get the right. trigger, not not the actual mask. So we'll see. All right. Well, it begins. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and go mail this. I think giving people's mail out might be a felony, there, fella. <laughs> what? Well, well, him having the letter. Him having someone else's mail? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's a banker, so he doesn't care. <laughs> he is the 1%. <laughs> so go ahead and mail this right now. Let's get it out of our inventory. And so, you know, through the quest, I do need to go get... Uh, the pendant now. Where was that? I can't even remember. I do. I remember. I need to go get a single Deku Nut. Which is separate oh. from 10 Deku Nuts. So... Are, I don't know where, where the close. Where's the nearest single Deku Nut drop? Is it just in here? I think. I, I'm not super sure. There's a bunch of grottos all around. I think that's the best spot. Maybe warping somewhere would have been faster, but I don't think so. Oh, yeah. We'll go ahead and get it here. So we just need to give that to Andrew. The thing is, I want to, if possible, I want to give this to Andrew before I talk to Kathy, and I don't know if that's possible. So we'll, we'll go ahead and see, and if because if it is, that'll that'll prevent one of the the issues. So we're gonna go try that first. It does need to be. So I need to do get to the night of the second day. And so ideally, uh, talk to Angie will bring up the the quest, asking for the pendant. Okay, perfect. That solves one issue. There could still be another problem. But cool. showing cool. the pe yeah, showing the pendant to Anju. Uh, what that does is now she will actually show up in the the final room. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you don't give her the pendant, she won't she won't show up there. Kathy still might, but then he'll just be alone there. So uh, you need both of them in there at the same time in order to trigger the cutscene. So that's that's the. Uh, the bottleneck, I guess. Mm -hmm. And why you need to do the entire quest, you can't just skip to the end. Right. So it's a bit unfortunate. Well, it's a little, they at least coded some of the triggers at least uh, properly. Or maybe they, it's the, they coded them improperly, depending on your point of view. Yeah. So then what's the trigger for getting Cafe there? Uh, that one actually is Sakon's hideout. Okay, that's it? Uh, yeah, just doing that will get him into the final room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I need to buy a few more explosives. And you can do that any time. You don't have to... Because you can glitch in there, right? So you don't have to do it on the third day. Uh, yeah. Well, no, yeah, no. He only shows up on the third day, but you can do it during the day of the third day. Right. And, and it works. But it doesn't... He won't He won't show up until the third day. Oh, okay. But, but you can get in there any time the third day. So it's, yeah, you still have pretty, uh, a lot of leniency here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So because I did that song of time reset earlier, I couldn't buy bombs beforehand, so I have to get it now. I probably don't need this many, but it'll it should last till the end of the game. There's no reason not to. Yeah. All right, so now we just gotta go talk to Caffy to just see his his triggers. Um, where he? Cause I need to see what the pendant is. He'll give that to me, and then we can go ahead and uh, finish it up at Sakon's hideout. Mm -hmm. Could we have done this at any time or no? Remember. No, because the big thing is I needed the caffeine mask to trigger the whole thing. Right. Uh, right. I could probably do. 
I could do sections of the quest, but until I got that mask, I couldn't do everything. Right, I forgot if you could get the pendant independently, if you just glitch in here. Which is super convenient. Uh, you can... Actually, what you have to do is, you can glitch in there, but he only shows up if you mail the letter. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, he'll, you, you can get in here, but he won't be right there, mm -hmm. unless you've mailed the letter. Nice. Talk to him, yeah, talk to him from down the stairs, save up, walking up the entire flight of stairs. That's mm -hmm. like, five seconds in the bank. So, uh, the, the... How are you supposed to know what to do if you mash through all the text? <laughs> the thing I was worried about is if he gives me the letter to Mama... Mm-hmm. If I couldn't deliver the pendant before, that would have been an issue. Oh, hey! Okay, it's just 10 DQ nuts, so it's not that wow. big of a problem. <laughs> There's your prize. It's shit I picked up off the ground. Go away. Yeah. If he gave me the letter to Mama, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't have... That would have been I could on, that would have been one-time thing only. A one-time right. item that I could get. And mm -hmm. if I had to deliver the pendant like afterwards, then getting the pendant would have overwritten the letter. Right. And I wouldn't have been able to do it. So that, that was an issue. There's still one more problem, and that's if the couple's mask itself is is the letter, then I don't have enough time to give it to the postman for him to finish the quest. So, we'll see. Uh, but I'm running out of stuff to do. At this point, how many items are left to be the letter to Mama? I don't actually know. It's funny you said, how can you know what to, what to do when you skip through all the text? When the only <laughs> now speech about I could actually read was, oh my, I pity you. <laughs> <laughs> Seems kind of harsh. That's well, some important information, because that was in blue. And so you have to, it means you have to remember it. You are pitiful. Remember it for life. Okay, let me make sure I didn't forget anything. Uh, so this might actually be a bad condition. I don't know because the only thing I can link left to get are the the DQ scrub trading items, but I would know where they are. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. You mean like the deeds? Yeah. Yeah. We found two of the deeds. Did we turn them both in or? Uh, yeah, but we need the other two. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're here, though. So yeah, again, you don't. It's, uh, I went in here right when the third day happened. Yeah, man. So I don't have to worry about it. Although I might, sh might have wait. Should have waited till nighttime. I don't know. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, but the, the thing is, after I do finish this, we will have to wait until the couple's mask cutscene, which is like an hour and thirty minutes before time ends. So that's gonna be another wait, a bit of waiting. Oh no, we'll survive. Oh no, you'll edit things out in post. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready for some classic block puzzles. Yeah. Gotta solve some cappy block puzzles and then I gotta do some, some wicked combat sections as, as Link. Mm hmm. Oh, that was a hard easy. puzzle. Yeah. Tips and tricks videos, push the top block, and I think that's a little bit faster. Mm hmm. All right, go, 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 go. You're on a timer. Right, let's go. Except the timer disappeared. Where's the timer at the bottom of the screen? I don't know, man. Oh, no. Oh, no, your ISG's running out. All right, all right, good. Hope that bomb doesn't explode me. All right, good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Let's go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Man, these puzzles are easy. Move, move. All oh, right, there you go. All right, we're done. Woof. Did it. D did it, everyone. All right, tips and tricks. That's how, that's how you solve the block puzzles and combat sections. Some good work, some good thinking. Took us a little bit, but you know what? We put our heads together. How to solve a puzzle? Ignore reality. Yeah, that's the easiest way, I think. Yeah. Uh, interesting side effect is that normally when you leave Cavi's hideout, it's supposed to be like um, uh, t midnight on the third day. But since we did it during the daytime, it's noon. Mm-hmm. So it does. So it actually effect. just sets it to the nearest twelve. I guess so. Yeah. But yeah, that's the whole quest. Now we just need to watch we the cutscene. Watch the cutscene.
And the unfortunate thing is that we're after gonna wait a whole lot of time. So I'll probably just a smash cut to us saying something like really fucking funny or something. Ah, oh, like that'll ever happen. Okay, now this is milk. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> is maybe the thing the randomizer gives you randomized? <laughs> it shouldn't. Um, there might be something weird with the first bottle. I don't know. The, and the only reason I can think that that happened is that I got more than six bottles at some point. So maybe that screwed right. stuff up. I don't know. Yeah. That's really weird, though. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> I'm perplexed. I can buy maps. Yeah, yeah, go buy some maps. Those aren't heart pieces, but it'll count. We'll have to do. It still stops the timer. No. Fucking walls. You aren't getting any fucking map. <laughs> do you even have enough money to buy a map? I don't think you do. I think they're like 30 apiece. I can buy one map once I beat this map guardian. Mm hmm They really shouldn't have those torches on fire next to all that wood. That's kind of a problem. Oh, we saw Kathy. Oh, what are you doing? You're not allowed to go through walls. Where'd he go? <laughs> he's not in here. I saw him go in. Hey, he's just... Check out the library. Grabbing a few books. Taking his time. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. So after all that. <laughs> it, yeah, like, but like I said, it's funny. If you only do like half of the quest or whatever, then, then one of them just here alone. Just, just sitting on the bed, sadly, because their loved one didn't show up. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's a beautiful shot of that table. You think that's authentic <laughs> Ikea? This entire room is Ikea. Why, why spend the big buck? Why spend the big bucks and the moon is crashing? Yeah. Oh yeah, I could definitely... That's a... That's a foot swell bad, and that's a... A Klim Spock. Recognize those. Anju, I'm here to marry your mannequin. <laughs> Did anybody ever... Like, what are they... What are they attempting to do with that mannequin? I don't think I ever figured that one out. They're like, okay... It's kind of a human if you pretend, but we just took a broom. <laughs> that was, I don't know. That, mannequin technology took a while to like mm. really build up. Maybe it's like they were trying okay. to just have like a fake plant, plant to liven up the room, but they just completely fucked it up. So yeah, this turned out to be the letter to Mama, and the problem with that is I'll, I will try. I'll go ahead and try to deliver it, but it takes wow. an hour for the the postman to deliver it. Mm -hmm. But he also leaves an hour before the moon crashes. So th the time doesn't actually work out, or it shouldn't. So that's a bit unfortunate. And th that, this, this is sort of an impossible situation. Like, I And there's this. no way to recover or like save it when you reset time. No, so, so I tried really hard to figure out a way to get Trey Adams back to the first day, because that would solve like all yeah. our problems. But I, it's like impossible. I even asked... Um, some of like the people who glitched this game really hard, they they couldn't really they didn't really know of any ways. I have so. a solution. Save states. <laughs> well no, that wouldn't even help at all. That would not help. <laughs> it's it's literally like a, a math problem where I just don't have enough time. Alright. Yeah, yeah. So it takes it takes him an hour to deliver it and then an hour to like leave the bar, so yeah, there's no chance. Ow. I'm surprised they even let you do it though. <laughs> it's a bit silly, yeah. Oh man, oh, this really oh. blows. That means well, we won't be able to get whatever this is, unless this is what's on the moon, and like maybe this was just all just trade bullshit. Yeah, I guess all that's what the we have trade to count items on. go into a singularity, and so that that's unfortunate. That this is this is just absolutely locked out. There's like no way. I couldn't think of a way to get around this, so we'll just have to restart or re save and reset. And yeah, I assume there's a deed that needs the deed trading whatever deed stuff is in there. Yeah, let's just hope for that. 